Hello, in this video I'll be discussing the biological mechanism behind congenital muscular dystrophy or CMD for short. This is an autosomal recessive disorder, meaning that there is a mutation in the DNA sequence causing mutated enzymes. That results in symptoms such as muscular dystrophy, which is the weakening and wasting of muscles. Additionally, it will result in abnormal brain development, as you'll see why shortly. The underlying mechanism of CMD has to deal with a problem in connecting the extracellular matrix to cells. Well, what is the extracellular matrix? The extracellular matrix is everything that is found outside of a cell. The ECM provides structural support through proteins such as collagen and elastin. It supplies hydration to the cell and support of interstitial tissue through proteoglycans. And it functions in signaling and development of cells. And one protein involved in this process is called the lamnum protein. The lamnum protein promotes adhesion between cells, which is a structural function, and it promotes the migration and differentiation of new cells that are being added to a particular tissue. Additionally, in the brain, it is, it, laminum is important in axon growth. So here I have a cartoon representation of and inside of a cell, the lipid membrane, and the outside of the cell, and how the laminum protein is connected via a complex to the cell itself. This whole entire complex is known as the dystrophin associated protein complex, and a mutation in any one of these proteins can lead to muscular dystrophy. So the laminum protein is connected via dystroglycan. Dystroglycan is a glycoprotein, meaning that it contains both a protein part with a post-translational modification of a sugar group added on. I have highlighted a sugar group added on in this cartoon here in pink which serves as the connection point from the laminum to the rest of the cell. In congenital muscular dystrophy, the enzyme that adds on this sugar group is mutated and it does not form this connection. This means that the extracellular matrix cannot adhere properly to cells resulting in different dystrophies and the migration, differentiation, and axon growth of new neurons is disrupted. This leads to structural and mental impairments in the brain. 